All right, guys. Today we're gonna do a gear bag video because a lot of you had asked me to do one. Um, so I figured today's a good enough day to do that. So this here is a Planet Eclipse CS3 in the midnight color. The barrel we have on here is gonna be a Freak barrel, Freak XL barrel. Um, this tip is the ACP tip, uh, which I personally just, I like this tip better than the, the standard tip, so I do use the ACP tip. So coming down to the tank, I've got a Project G powerhouse regulator here. Uh, shout out to Project G for hooking me up with, the with that regulator. Um, and then I have this old tank that I've been using for what feels like a million years uh, with a very deteriorating, deteriorating tape job um, and a buttload of enjoy paintball stickers because I enjoy paintball. Loader, this is a uh, Virtue Spire 3 loader. Um, I've had the same loader literally since I started playing paintball in 2019 was my first season and I've had the same loader for all of that time. And um, yeah, so still rocking it. And then the Crown Speed Feed here. Um, this year they did release the JT Triad, which I have in my bag as well. Um, so I'll go over that as well. Um, and then if you know me at all, you know that this is my signature barrel sock. Uh, it's a Russian Legion Smart Parts barrel sock from like the early 2000s. Um, I've already had it re-elasticed, elastic reapplied new elastic to it because it had gotten so worn out. So yeah, that's my uh, my setup. As you can see, it's all black. Um, just generally speaking, I'm definitely like a all black everything kind of person. Um, so most of the time I'm not going to choose like colorful stuff over black stuff. So that's my setup here. This is a brand new um, Eclipse gear bag. Um, huge shout out to Eclipse, of course, for hooking it up with the gear bag last year and this year. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic bag. Um, it goes with me to every event and it's been perfect. Uh, this year we also got the backpacks uh, in the same matching uh, colorway from Eclipse. I was kind of skeptical about using a backpack at first, uh, but after using this at Cup, it was absolutely fantastic. It had enough space, because I'm always like, eh, do you have enough space in a backpack to fit everything? Uh, with this, you absolutely do. Um, and then I threw my personal patches onto the backpack. Um, I'll have to get some more to put on my gear bag down here. I realize now that I forgot to put my cleats in here to show you guys the cleats. Um, I wear Puma cleats. I always wore, it's a little windy today. Um, I always wore Adidas cleats because they were my favorite and they changed everything. So now I'm having to switch to Puma cleats. So I'm currently using Puma cleats and I'll throw up a photo of what they look like so you can see what they look like. Um, but they're fantastic. They're probably the most comfortable cleats I've ever worn. Highly, highly recommend the Puma cleats. So what do I keep in this extra thing here? Whatever you want to call this. I keep mask stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is my visor. But so this is one of the old school visors. I personally like these better than the new ones just because of the way that they're shaped. Um, I don't know, something about this visor I just prefer. Obviously I should say this is the JT Proflex, uh, which is a mask that I've been using for the last little bit because we are JT sponsored on the Heroines as well as with Underground, we are JT team as well. Um, so all of my mask collection pretty much is, uh, is Proflex parts. Um, so this one in particular, these used to be clear JT Flex frames. Um, but I had them dyed by by gradient paintball and they're now like a tortoiseshell pattern um, So I'll get a close-up shot of this so you guys can see it But I do love these frames and these are probably one of my main go-to frames mask case. This is the exalt uh, Goggle case. I've had this for years and it's still going strong So in here, I'm gonna be keeping my main build of whatever I'm using that day um, So in here, I've got the other flex build that I actually just put together. I just got this strap um, a couple days ago, but I've got the OG uh, thin black frames, OG bottoms with the Revo 2 ears here. And then this is that brand new strap that I got. I think it's from the new Cobalt build. Um, and kind of the same thing applies to everything else I was just saying is I'm normally like an all black everything kind of kind of person when it comes to paintball and in life too. I also normally choose, um, you know, the more muted things. Um, also in here, I keep a lot of microfibers because you can't have too many microfibers, like, let's be real. Uh, last thing in this pocket is band-aids because you never know when you're gonna need band-aids. I lied, there's one more thing in here and that is an extra chin strap because we don't have time to get penalties for not having chin straps. All right, so first thing is a triad loader that I was just talking about. Um, these are new this year and I did use this at World, I mean, not at World Cup. Actually, I did use it for a little bit at World Cup, but I used this at Florida this year, um, it's the new, loader from JT. 
And then Freak Kit, this is our brand new Freak Kit for the heroines. Um, it's the Freak XL kit, but it's got our fancy, and I'm trying to like make it where you guys can see this. I'm not really sure if it's showing up, but this is our Venom tip, um, custom made for the heroines uh, with Freak. And I think we have a couple of these still left for sale. So if you like this kind of black and silver look, you can uh, buy that from our site. Uh, ID card, yellow JT lanyard that I stole off of a chrono at PBC uh, a million years ago. So I wear this at events, uh, at NXL events, when you have to have your ID card. Heroines do not have a pad sponsor. We wear kind of whatever pads we think are the most comfortable. Um, I've been wearing dye, pad, dye arm pads uh, since I started playing paintball. They fit my arms the best. Um, they've held up great for me. Uh, for knee pads, I keep a couple uh, knee pads in here. I have the HydraFit. Uh, these are the most protection I've ever found, and they've also got the most, the best fit for my legs. I've tried on a couple different brands of knee pads and these ones actually provide what I find to be the most support. Hip sliding, diving, you know, all the fun stuff you do as a one. I also have these cheap um, Hex knee pads that I got off Amazon for like 25 bucks and sometimes I'll wear these when I know I'm not doing a whole lot of knee sliding that day or if it's like a lighter day just because they're, they don't, they're not as padded but they don't kind of like rub the backs of my legs if I wear them for a long period of time. Um, all right, pack. I am using the Planet Eclipse Carbon um, kind of co-branded, but it's the newest version of the Carbon Pack. So I think it's the SC Pack. Um, ours is just the Eclipse version that we got uh, because we are heroines are our Eclipse team. Um, I have tried a million different packs, guys. I have tried Dye, GI, Carbon over the course of seasons. And for me personally, it was always hard to find one that like fit my waist, that didn't move around whenever I dove and slid around because my waist is kind of small compared to a lot of those packs and they would overlap. This is the best pack that I have ever worn. And like I said, I had tried Carbons before this one and I don't know what Carbon did with this one in particular, uh, but this one was far better than the Carbon, than the two other Carbon packs I had had in the past. This is by and large the best one I've ever owned. Um, so if you're looking for something and you're maybe my size or you're having an issue with your pack moving around, look into this one because it is fantastic. Um, I pretty much always keep a Planet Tech Tee in here. Um, the Planet Tech Tees are made with the material that I like the most, and that's not because I'm Planet Sponsored. I was wearing these long before I was Planet Sponsored. Um, they're just like the best dry fit material. Huge, huge fan of these Planet Tech Tees. I've probably got like 50 of them um, in my closet. All right, uh, this is my <laughs> signature green undershirt tank top that I wear at events. Um, it's getting quite ragged. It's like a cut off t-shirt that Chaz had made years ago um, and I straight stole it from him. Uh, my underground jersey in here. This is our blue one that we had made this past year that we're going to be rocking again this year. Um, this is a GI Odyssey Pro jersey. Heroines like OG black jersey that we've had since the start. All right we got two pairs of socks. So these are my JT pants. Um, I've been rocking these in the 2021, 2022 season, and now in the 2023 season, these are my favorite pants. Uh, you will always see me wearing these at events. They are fantastic. Beanies on beanies on beanies. As you guys know, I wear the brown beanie in the WNXL. I wore it on the WNXL exhibition so that my grandma and friends could know what person I was on the field because obviously we're in a mask. So it kind of started as a thing and then it just became a trend where I always wore the brown beanie with the WNXL as a signature thing. Um, when I'm not playing with the heroines or when I'm not playing a WNXL event, um, I wear a black beanie most of the time, but I have a gray one too. Uh, but traditionally you'll see me wearing the black one outside of the heroines. Fun bag of headgear that I keep with me. Um, primarily I use my tan fine skulls, 10 ounce, three piece, uh, sandana. It is starting to shred on the edges and I'm going to be sad when it starts to actually deteriorate. Um, I've had this one basically since I started playing and all the wear and tear on it was put on there by me so it's super special to me and is probably probably the most special headband that I have and the one that I wear most often. Um, second behind that one, the one I wear most often is going to be a 10 ounce green brown snake stripe that was made by Joe DeFranco aka Joey D. Anybody that's in the Sandana game knows of Joey D. Um, it's got that signature fight tag uh, from Joey in there with the OG gold tag. Uh, those are my two main go-to bands and then on the rare occasion that I wear my hair up hits probably like 88 90 degrees is when my hair officially comes out because um, I like to wear the beanie pretty much any time that I can. It's just a lower profile look. So when I do wear my hair out, I do have a couple things that I wear. Um, I wear this 
10 ounce um, OG one piece green flying skull sandana. And a lot of times I'll wear it with the Core Sample sweatband. Um, shout out to Core Sample for this. And then the last one I've got is a 12 ounce purple Snake Stripe Factory one piece. Uh, this is a lot to say, I'm realizing now. So I really don't wear these two that much, um, but when it does get to be stupid hot here like it does, uh, I'll normally throw these on, but these are gonna be my two main go-tos is the, the brown brown bands. Um, and the last one I have here in the bag is my brown uh, Tigerwear band that I got from um, Kyle and Mouse at the uh, World Cup last year. Uh, they hooked it up with the brown because that became kind of my signature thing. Or at least I'm assuming that's why they gave me the brown one, but um, I do like brown next to black. It's probably my favorite color of gear to wear. Um, so I'm gonna rock this here soon. I put it in my bag um, and you'll see me in this one here soon. So that's my headgear and that's pretty much the collection. I'm not somebody that really changes headgear a whole whole lot. Um, I pretty much stick to what, I, what I've known and love and uh, sometimes I'll work new things into the rotation but I'm really really picky about my headgear. I think I've got like five here. Um, a lot of times people ask me for them and I let people use them and then I never get them back so I just have amassed this. First of all my jersey's gonna go flying away in a second because it's so windy. Um, I've amassed this collection of barrel swabs for absolutely no reason other than just totally anticipating my teammates um, needing barrel swabs. I've got a UL barrel in here. My uh, gloss gunmetal tip, not really sure. Um, I've had this for a while. I really like dyes barrels, um, so I keep it in here just to use every now and then. Uh, but I do primarily use the Freak XL, and I definitely use the Freak XL at events. Um, and then I didn't even go over this, but I keep my CS2 in here. Um, as I told you guys, I'm using the CS3 this year. However, I will always, always, always keep my CS2. This was my favorite gun ever, um, and I will always have it in my bag as a backup because it shoots amazing. I used it for two full seasons, the 21 season and the 2022 season. As you can see, I had the black one, uh, no surprise on that, but um, I love this gun. This gun is my baby and will probably go to the grave with me. Um, so if anybody's asking, hey, are you selling your old CS2? Absolutely not. I'll be keeping this forever. And now I'm ranting about my CS2, so I'm gonna stop but I do love this gun and I always have it as a backup in my bag. These are my gloves. I always wear gloves. If I'm not wearing gloves, it is either literally over 100 degrees or I am, I don't know, I've been possessed by somebody else because I always wear gloves. Um, batteries. Always have batteries in your bag, guys. Come on. You don't have batteries. You don't have batteries in your gear bag and you go and have to ask somebody else for batteries. That person is not gonna like you anymore. And that person's name is Krista. Krista, get you some batteries and put them in your bag. Rain lids, rain lids, speed feeds. Uh, oh, this is my um, Karmalkowski H2K tank tool that I just got recently. Uh, almost empty Planet Eclipse lube because, I don't know, one of my teammates left it somewhere and I picked it up and now I have it, which happens pretty much all the time. And then a screwdriver. If you use a flex, you know you have to have a screwdriver to put your flex bottoms and pieces together. So I got this little guy that I keep in my gear bag. And then lastly is a Allen key for a Planet Eclipse gun with a core sample lanyard uh, because we've all lost way too many Allen keys. Um, everybody's Planet Eclipse or any brand of Allen key set is missing the one to do the velocity. So I was kind of tired of all the Allen keys getting gone. So I picked this up from Core Sample and it's really convenient because now we just know that I have this. And um, yeah, you can pick these up from Core Sample. I think they're like 10 bucks or something and they are super, super convenient. And it looks like we have a visitor here. This is Bones. He's a, he's a big boy and uh, he's got really white fur. So it doesn't really go well with the whole all black everything I was talking about. Uh, because all of my clothes get covered in, in white fur, but... Uh, enjoy paintball 2023. Enjoy paintball. I don't think there's any more pockets, so I think that that's everything. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions about anything that I went over, or if you have any, um, you know, if you want to show your thoughts in the comments, or tell me that I'm dumb and I should be using something else, or literally anything like that, uh, feel free, and um, I'll catch you guys on the next one.